Okay, having a look at our daily five factorising, day 17. So we are looking at our five questions today. Uh, pause the video, have a go at the questions, and then check out the answers. So our first one, we're looking for a common factor. And we can see that it has a common factor of xy. So we'll put that <coughs> outside the brackets, and then inside the brackets, we'll go the xy and minus z. For our second one, we're looking at our grouping, so we'll do the first two terms. They have a common factor of a outside of m plus n. And in the second two terms, we can take a minus b outside of m plus n. And then that will give us a take b and m plus n in our brackets. For number three, we've got um, a difference of two squares. So we can write that as 7x all squared minus y squared. And then we're able to write 7x take y and 7x plus y. For our third one, we've got our monic quadratic, where we've got a equals 1, b equals negative 3, c equals negative 4. So a is negative, a, c is negative 4, b is negative 3. We're looking for two numbers that will multiply to give negative 4, but add to give negative 3. So if we use negative 4 and positive 1, uh, they will multiply to give negative 4, and negative 4 plus 1 will give us negative 3. So we're able to put that straight in the brackets, x take away 4, x plus 1 there. Our last one, looking at this one, you may think it's the non-monic and start writing that down. Always look for a common factor first. So 3 goes into all three of those terms. So we can write that as 3x squared minus 3x plus 40. And then we can write our a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 3, c is equal to 40. Uh, so we want something that multiplies to give 40 but adds to give negative 3. Uh, so if we have got a, um, sorry I think I meant to put a minus there, let's go back and put that minus 120, sorry about that if you are working through those. Uh, so we're looking for something that will multiply to give negative 40 and add to give negative 3. So that means we can use our negative 8 and positive 5. So they will multiply to give negative 40 and add to give negative 3. Uh, so then we're able to keep our 3 out the front and put our x take away 8, x plus 5.